Hello there, fine people. Yes, I'm going to be playing Starbound. Uh, I've been waiting for Starbound with my friends for so long now. And now that it's finally out in beta, I am going to be recording some Let's Plays of it. I have one Let's Play that I'm going to be uploading you might have already seen. Um, that's on my Mac. Well, that's on the same computer, but in Mac, but... I can't play that file anymore, even though it's like awesome, because Starbound just doesn't want to work. So we're gonna be playing on a Windows. So I was playing around on a character for a while, and let's just start a new character and uh, start a new world. I assume it starts a new world when you start a new character. So I want to be a male. Let's randomize a little bit just to see if I can get a cool looking person. Um, I don't want a flower per se, even though I like the flower people. Alright, we'll go f full mushroom, and we're gonna change it to like a really cool color. I guess black is the coolest. Alright, hair. Here, let's change the stance. I like that stance the best, probably. I like that. That's cool. You know, that's fine. Sap Stabber. That's actually a pretty freaking hardcore name. Alright. Now that I actually know what to do as well. Uh oh. Alright. So this wants us to take stuff out, which I can do that. Now let's create a crafting table. But before we have to create, before we can create the crafting table, we need to get some wood. But instead, I am just going to move a little bit of this to my inventory because I don't need um, all of it right now. I don't need um, seeds. I don't have a hoe yet. Okay. Let's get out our sword. And let's beam down. See how awesome it is. It looks kind of like a desert, so... Let's see. Ooh. Start off right away with two kind of node-looking things that give me pixels. Check over here. Alright. A little cute little monkey. Die! Ooh, a chest. That's fast. What do we got? We got bombs and seeds. Actually, I don't know what the bombs do. I've not had them yet. Let's um, break this. Take it, and then we're gonna go over here. Cause over here looked really cool. Hey! Oh! Whew. All right. I wonder if they're friends with the cute little dudes. Okay. The reason why I wanted to come over here was because of the fruit or the vegetable or whatever this is. So we're going to take it. Okay. There's some dudes. Don't really want to mess with. Because... I just don't want to. So what we're going to do is we're going to chop down this tree. With our matter manipulator-ish thing. Matter manipulator. Manipulates anything that matters. Okay. And we're just going to... Hold it down on this tree. Uh oh, look at the little purple squinty eyed guy. Oh, look at him. He's adorable. Okay, I hope this doesn't, uh. I hope he doesn't attack me. I don't think he will. The matter manipulator can manipulate just about everything. Possibly everything. But it is not good at manipulating everything. Oh, snap. He wants a piece of this. 
That's what happens when you go to Brown Town. This is Brown Town. George Brown. <laughs> okay, so the matter manipulator is good at manipulating everything, but not at any specific thing. So it takes forever to chop down trees, to dig, uh, to break things. It's not too bad at breaking things. Uh, but yeah. It's pretty much a general purpose, and it can do it long range, so, you know, I can chop down this tree from all the way over here instead of having to be right next to it with a pickaxe, or with, not with a pickaxe, with a regular axe. Okay, so now that we have wood, I know what I'm going to need a little bit for this, another quest. Come on, don't attack me, little creepy crawlies. We're going to get these vines, and we need these vines to create a bow, because that's going to be the second thing that we make. Mm-hmm. See, it takes a long time. Alright. We have plant fiber. Hey! What do you want? What do you want a slice of this cake? Look at what you made me do. You made me attack the kill of monkeys. Hey. Those pixels. Yeah. Yeah! Oh, God. Let's go by where we started, just because it makes everything a little bit easier and faster. So, okay, right over here. And now to craft, you actually have to hit C instead of your inventory. Alright. What we are going to need is we are going to need a crafting table. So, we're going to need some wood planks. So, let's just make five of those for now. And then, scroll, scroll around. And what else does it need? We need, f actually, we need 35. There we go. My bad. All right. Craft. Now we get, this is a reward, and we get 10, I believe, 10 uh, pixels. Next one. It wants us to uh, get some meat and cook it. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put this up here. To a place we can use it. Take this down. We don't need that. Don't need that. 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 This might come in handy. So let's go to the crafting table and place it down. Now we can craft even more stuff. But you don't just hit C like what I just did accidentally. You don't just hit C. You'll get your original stuff. What you want to do, oops, what you want to do is you actually want to hit E. You want to highlight it with your cursor and hit E. There you go. And this is all the stuff we can make now. I am going to make a hunting bow because I need that. I'm also going to make a campfire because I'm going to need that as well. Put that right there. That's going to be for cooking my food. Go away. Oh. You get infinite arrows from what I can tell. Which is really nice because... Running out of ammo sucks so bad. Alright, already got meat. That was fast. It took me like two, literally two hours to get a single thing of meat. And something you might have noticed is that my arrows are a little bit inconsistent. So if I hold it down all the way, did you see that little, uh, little white bloop? Like it looks kind of like it ha got highlighted. That means it's at its full of strength, and it'll get a slightly more powerful arrow. You gotta get it just right. Not too early, not too late. Oh, apparently... Ah, I hit one of the cool, creepy guys. Go away! He's faster than me. Oh! Oh, I might die. Nah, I'm not gonna die. I got this in the bag. Alright, so we got some meat. Now, what we gotta do is we gotta cook it. So you're gonna highlight the fire, and you're gonna eat. You don't need anything to actually feel it. It will just cook itself. Sweet, look at that. Cooked alien meat. Mission complete. Now it wants us to create a... Uh, forge furnace 
do hick. So let's go in here, see what we got. We are going to need a campfire. Good thing we got one of those. And then we're going to need some cobblestone. Fun, fun, fun. <laughs> Takes a little while, but this game, this game has been quite awesome so far. My other file that you might have seen is I started off and I actually had a town, an eight, not an eight, in a glitch town, right, pretty much where I spawn, which is really, really cool. This one. Not so much interesting. It could be. I don't know. I have not been very far so far. Just go over here and see how much it actually takes to create a furnace. Auric takes 25 and we have 17. I think once we make the furnace, I will end this. Bloop. And bloop. I should have enough now. Twenty-five. Yep. Let's create the furnace. Craft. Awesome. All right. Now, what it wants me to do is, it wants me to forge. It wants me to make some iron bars. I still haven't even found iron in my other file, and I played that one a few hours. But oh well. Thanks for watching. I hope everyone enjoyed this. If you did, please rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.